Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched, and Reviewed. It's time to get ready for this week's episode. Three kids are the beat kids. They're the ones who never win. They'll steal your silver and your gold and your heart too if they can. So, we have a package. This package is from Moss Garcia. Christopher Rage's biggest fan and also the creator of Fist Pig. Now this is a day that I've been dreading for a very long time because I don't want to see this. So what is it? Let's see what he crammed in. There we go. Oh boy. Ah, shit. Fist Pig 2. Night Train to Sodom. That's right ladies and gentlemen. Fist Pig 2. Night Train to Sodom celebrates the human body for what it really is. A cum-filled garbage dumpster. You got away with words, Moss. Prepare your assholes, little piggies. Daddy Moss is going in dry. And as I was sitting there, I was interrupted by this horrible song that came on my iTunes. Who the fuck is this? Is this that Impanina bullshit? Uh, sorry. I'm not doing no Impanina bullshit. Are you motherfucking kidding me up the motherfucking garbage dump? Moss put so much work into this mixtape, he's been talking about it for months. When he was making it, he told me many times, he said, this is borderline criminal. And then he also said, this is very hateful. And I thought, criminal? Hateful? Sounds like fun. So with that said, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. You guys ready to start Fist Pig 2? I know I'm not, but we gotta do it, right? We gotta do it. So I put the movie in and naturally the menu was just disgusting. This is gonna be difficult. Here we go, play. This mixtape is not for sale. If someone charged you for this, punch them in the face. It's from the first one. I feel like we're revisiting an old friend, only with a bigger asshole this time. This was made for fun, not profit. Let's keep it that way. If you know someone who would like this, make a copy and give it to them. Moss told me that to make some of this stuff completely original, Moss filmed some of it himself. So we may be seeing like a butt and then a big anus pop out. That could be Moss, you never know. Hey, after a horrible recap of Fist Pig 1, the movie begins. So, it's opening up with a big opening. I thought that was a woman's pussy, but it's a guy's huge asshole. That is disgusting. God, that's so gross. He's, that guy took the cum from this huge prolapsed anus that had a slit in it, and then he licked it all up, and then took it to the guy's mouth and like, dribbled it into his mouth like he was carefully pouring syrup, but it was cum out of the big pink ass. Fuck. Three minutes in and 90 minutes to go. Now there's a dick on like a table, it's closed up and a guy is putting fish hooks in it. This guy's putting a fish hook in his cock. And it's homemade and it's footage I've never seen. If that is you, Moss, quit talking to me. Something that sets this apart from other mixtapes is its sexual orientation. I mean, I do like that this is a gay mixtape, you know? I mean, the Fist Pigs are gay mixtapes. This isn't a woman's pussy being mutilated here. This is a big dick with needles all over it. After some wonderfully selected clips, both funny and disgusting, we then see... Oh my god, that is the biggest fucking prolapsed anus I've ever seen. Whew. It looked like his asshole was blowing up this big orange water balloon. Oh my god, it's out, it's this big, and now he's sitting down on a fucking traffic cone, and it's going into the anus which is out this far. The anus is this big. I've never, ever, ever seen anything like that. People who have seen Fist Pig 1, don't think you've seen it all, because you haven't. He's opening it up and it's, it's bigger than a head. 
Oh, and he's pushing it back in, and it looks like it doesn't want to, it can't fit. His anus can't fit up his own ass. We then see our old friend. There's the perverse dwarf and mommy. Of course, she just opened up the diaper and it's covered in blood. These two. Oh, I forgot the mom tastes the fucking dwarf's pussy blood. I forgot about that. After some more sexual mayhem, we then meet a complete lunatic from a Christopher Rage movie. He's got the madness eyes. The, all these guys have blue eyes and they kind of cross. He's making the, he goes, mm, he was doing this. I knew that Moss had found out the identity of the dick fingering guy from Hershey's Kisses, and I was really afraid that this might be him. He says about his dick, it's starting to stick out there. All right, just don't put your finger in it. He's not only completely insane, but he is the dick fingering guy. Oh shit, he's got a big wide urethra. Oh dick hole. Oh god, there it goes. <laughs> And to add salt to the wound while this guy's finger is way into his erection, Moss forces us to stare at this act by... Oh, thanks, Moss. You paused it. Oh my god, he's a fucking insane, nasty shithead. There's nothing more painful for a man than watching fucking dick fingering. We then move on to some old woman who's sitting on a bed with her ass up in the air. She tells some guy, you can fuck my asshole, but my pussy is out of order. It's just too dry. But my asshole, on the other hand, you can stick your dick into it, and I'll start to scream in an old lady voice. Is that Sasha Gray pissing on her face? I think it is. And more puke, 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 puke into the toilet. We then see two girls making a banana split. Okay, she just shot a banana out of her creaming asshole, and now they're licking it. Her butt was filled with Cool Whip. She shat all of that out, and then a big banana came out, and now they both have the banana in their mouths and are doing that. This next scene was sexual cruelty at its most cruel. There's a woman with her asshole totally spread open with forceps and this guy with this little red candle dumping the wax into her asshole. And this woman is freaking out screaming as this guy fills her asshole with hot wax. Well, shut the hell up, bitch. Some scenes from Christopher Rage's Fucked Up are shown, and it was just as fucked up as ever. So it's all these little clips and it's saying kill in between them. And the kill is taken from Randall Tape of Terror. Oh my god, that guy just shat out a football. Somebody's masturbating with basil. More and more things are shown popping out of assholes, and as the movie goes on, the things seem to get bigger. What is that? A fucking People's Choice Award? That woman's being fucked by a toilet brush. She just shat out a veggie salad, like cucumber, carrots, all at once. Watching this movie, I learned that autopsy footage is not good on an ulcer. It's giving me an ulcer. This movie's giving me an ulcer. Where is the fucking Prilosec, honestly? I need the fucking Prilosec. Got it! For the ulcer, wash it down with some shit that rips up the stomach lining. What the fuck? It's a They Live guy jacking off. And he just took the glasses off, and he put them on again, and there's the They Live guy with these dildos in his face. This movie is also not good for those who suffer from anxiety. What you are about to witness is real. Okay, what the hell? It's already making me lightheaded. What is he doing? He's cutting into skin. Oh my god, don't tell me it's a ball sack. 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 Oh my god. He just popped out. I think it's a ball sack. I'm not gonna puke. I'm just gonna faint. He's, uh, he's, he's cutting balls out. He's cutting out balls. He's cutting out balls. And they're white. Oh my god. And he's squishing it. When I said dick fingering is the most painful thing a man can watch, I was wrong. Watching balls being removed from the ball sack is way worse 
and much more painful to look at. He's cutting out balls. I'm gonna faint. He's cutting out balls. He's cutting out balls. I need the Xanax. He's snipping out balls. He's cutting the cord. He's cutting out balls. He just cut out the balls. I'm just holding it up. It's making me sick. I'm taking the Xanax. Not washing this down. Oh my God, he's sewing it up. My heart is racing. Is my hair falling out? I was so freaked out by this, I couldn't even think. I didn't need to see that. After a really nasty scene from bottom, the movie is almost done. But first, we see a girl getting shit on by all these prolapsed anuses. This ending is horrible. You may think in about an hour in, you know, this is just a lot of big assholes. It gets really bad. They're still going. I'm a nervous wreck. This movie's killing me. And then to wrap things up, more and more disgusting shit is thrown at us like a facial of filth. Lots of fucked up shit now. Eating mayonnaise. That guy's sticking candy bars up his ass. Oh god, balls again. These buttholes are this big. They look like boa constrictor houses. Blood and surgeries. Anorexic porn. I might have to stop this. I am legitimately nervous as fuck balls. I might have to go like, get some juice. Cause God knows that has calming effects. Jeez, I'm having a panic attack. I'll get the juice. Tit abuse. I, I mean, I feel like I'm gonna faint or die. There's balls. I know there's only two or three minutes left, but I need to go get the fucking juice. So with two minutes remaining, I went upstairs to get my juice. I got the juice. I figured between the energy drinks and what was happening on the TV, my heart had a potential to explode. Huge buttholes. There's that gross thing. There's some old guy freaking out. It's just crazy shit. We see some shots from Passion of the Christ and then Tim Curry from the movie Legend slowed down and laughing. And then... Please be over. Please be over. A murder basement mixtape compiled and edited by Moss Garcia. It's done. We never have to look at Fist Pig 2 ever again. Special thanks to Obulus Tubak! Whew. Thank you, Moss. Thank you, Moss. That's very nice. Happy to be a part of something that almost killed me. Shoutouts to Unbox Washington Reviewed, Beneath the Underground. Christopher Rage! And speaking of Christopher Rage, after the credits we see the dick fingering guy saying If you're watching this tape, you're one of the club, which means you're one of my buddies. He said if you're watching this tape, you're a part of my club, automatically you're one of my buddies. What a perfect ending. A man talking to you saying you've made it, pretty much. Or thanks for joining me on this journey. You're in the club now, so I guess that makes me a fist pig. And anyone else who sees this, you'll be a fist pig too. We can say we're in the fist pig club. So what do I give fist pig to night train to Sodom on a scale of one to five? Well, I'd have to give it a... Four. This movie made me very nervous. It uh, made my ulcer uh, kind of stretch. Uh, made my, uh, it made everything kind of go around. And it made me feel like I was going to die. This movie made me sick. And in terms of grossness, this one blows Fist Pig 1 way out of the cum puddle. You know, I couldn't stop thinking about the Slime Girls from Retardatron 2 for like, um, you know, a year and a half. And now I got balls. And lots of them, you know, at the end when it was showing all that stuff. I, could, I couldn't barely take it because they, sh you know, they cut the balls out. Then it went straight to bottom, which is just pure nastiness. And then it went to this ba 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 All this nastiness and their shit and gaping, gaping assholes. There's gotta be at least 50 prolapsed anuses in this. This has all the ingredients for a perfect mixtape. This is definitely gonna freak a lot of people out. So, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.